too. Good evening. My earlier video was dealing with how to take a major scale and turn it into a minor scale. Um, and so C major becomes C minor. A major becomes A minor. F sharp major becomes F sharp minor. All right. Now, theoretically speaking, those are not related keys. Those are parallel keys. And there's a reason we can use those. Composers do it all the time. You know, go from major to the minor to the major to the minor and whatnot. But we're, today we're going to talk about relative minor. So these are minors that have the same key signature. Okay. So let's just begin from the beginning. What is a minor scale? Minor scale, a major scale has an interval of a major third between scale degrees one and three. A minor scale has an interval of a minor third between scale degrees one and three. So a major scale has four half steps above the tonic. A minor scale has three half steps above the tonic. All right. Um, your major modes are Ionian, Lydian, Mixolydian. Your minor modes are Dorian, Phrygian, Aeolian, and Locrian. And today we are talking specifically about Aeolian mode. Okay. Because for some reason in Western music, we decided that that was going to be um, the major, or, or not, excuse me, the regular uh, minor key modulation. And there's reasons for that, and I'll get into that later. But so what is Aeolian mode? Aeolian modes are, or your minor scales, are on the inside of the circle. Your major modes are on the outside of the circle. So are your major scale, major mode, outside, relative minor is on the inside. Okay, and the reason uh, they are related is because if I go around the circle and I see C major, well its relative minor is A minor, and since they're in the same spot, they have the same key signature. So one of the easier way to, to practice your your minor scales is to think of um, so if I'm going to start in A I got to go hmm, and I want to figure out the minor scale A minor scale how would I know what the key signature is well I go from A and I'm going to count down so A G F E D C how many notes is that six okay it's the sixth note down. And then I use that key signature. All right, let's do this again. So if I want to be in, let's say, the key of B minor, okay? B minor is six away from what note? D. Let's count from D. So D is one. E is two. F sharp is three. G is four. A is five. B is six. Or I can do it backwards. B is 6, A is 5, G is 4, F sharp is 3, E is 2, D is 1. All right, let's do 1 in a flat key. C minor. All right, C is 6 away from what note? Okay, and I need to specify that it is a major 6th away. So the C natural will appear 6 away from E flat. Okay, so I go E flat, 1, F, 2, G, 3, A flat, 4, B flat, 5, C is the sixth note. Okay, don't get it confused with C sharp minor because that's a different key because the C sharp is 6 away from E natural. E is 1, F sharp is 2, G is 3, A is 4, B is 5. C sharp is your sixth scale degree. So your um, minor scales. So when I think of any minor scale, I'm going to say F minor. F minor is six away from A flat. That's how I know what the minor um, key is going to be. And today we're just going to deal with Aeolian modes. I'm not going to talk about um, 
harmonic or melodic minor stuff. Um, just yeah, I'm gonna make a separate video on that. But this is the this is the way to figure out um, how to find the relative minor. All right, so for Ionian to Aeolian, find the Aeolian mode of a minor major scale. So it's the sixth one away from your major tonic. Okay, I'm just gonna think uh, B flat minor. Okay, B flat minor is six away from D flat. So if I go D flat, E flat, F natural, G flat, A flat, B flat. There we go. It's always the sixth one away. Um, the difference when you create these scales is they will have a different tonic. When we had parallels, they would have the same tonic. These have a different tonic because they are related to the major keys. All right. You can retain the tonic if you want them to be unrelated, but these are related. These are going to, your key signature is not going to change. Um, in later on, when we get to cadences and, um, and chord progressions, uh, getting into the minor key is a very easy thing to do. It's called a deceptive cadence. So instead of five, one, you can do a five, six, use that as your resting pitch, and then um, easily go off in the relative minor. All right. Um, so remember to figure it out. Take your major scale. Go to the scale degree six. Start on that six scale degree, and you will have a minor scale. So six scale degree. Don't change the key signature, and you will have a minor scale. All right, here. So here are the major scales written out with key signatures. All right. And just to prove to you, I'm going to play them right now. You get the point. These are all major scales. Now, when writing them, I'm going to show you a little trick. So, if I'm on C, okay, I'm going to turn C into its relative minor. I go one, two, three, four, five, six. So, I'm going to start on A. Well, if I'm writing it, I can just do this. What do I get? An A minor scale. So I'm in G minor. I have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to start on E. two minor scales. All right. I'm going to repeat the pattern here. So D, I'll go up six. So D, E, F sharp, G, A, B natural. That's going to be my six scale degree. So I'm just going to move these guys down. It's a B minor scale. A major, one, B, two, C sharp, three, D4, E5, F sharp is 6. So I'm going to turn, just move these down. You say, well, how do you know that? Because I also know that a 6 is also a third away. So if I go up to 1, so I'm going to start from E. 1, 2, G sharp, A, B, C sharp. Okay. C sharp is a major six away, but it also is a minor third away. This is why knowing your intervals inside and out is very helpful. Okay, B major G sharp 
is the sixth away. It's also a minor third away. Okay. And then if I really want to make that just a little bit more readable, I can use my handy transpose tool up octave. There, that's a little more readable. All right, so I have the enharmonic of this scale, which is C flat, A flat, down. And let's make them sound the same. So I'm gonna get click here, go to my utilities, Octave jump. There we go. That's a little bit more eye friendly. Okay. So F sharp minor. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. F sharp major. I'm going to turn them into D sharp minor. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. D sharp is the sixth one away. I'm just going to move this guy. There you go. A D sharp minor Aeolian scale. G flat major. Okay. So I have G flat major becomes E flat minor. Now I have Something really scary looking here. C sharp major is going to become A sharp minor. So one, let's figure this out. C, D, E, F, G. Six away is C sharp right there. Oh, excuse me, A sharp, my bad. Okay, I'm going to turn him into an A sharp. Okay, uh, D flat. Same as in harmonic C sharp, so D flat is going to become B flat. Okay. What is six away from A flat? F. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm just gonna turn him. Six away from E flat is C. So I'm going to turn them into C. And the nice thing about this, when you do it this way, you don't have to mess with the key signatures. The intervals change for you. B flat. So let's say, well, you've been going down a third. Well, what if I go up a six? Fine, I'll go up a six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay, I still end up with a G minor scale. All right, F. Okay, well, let's just show you the going up six. Okay, so I'm going to start on, I'm going to turn my F into a D. Okay. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 There you go. And now I have turned all my majors into. Um, relative minors. Here we go.
There you go. And I'm going to fix this because we are no longer parallel. We are in relative. Relative. If I could spell relative. Major to relative minor. There you go. Okay, so I hope this helps you um, figure out how to make your uh, relative minors from your majors. Remember, you're going to go, let's go back over here. Okay. Remember, you're going to go from your major scale. You're going to find the sixth scale degree. Start and end on the sixth scale degree. Don't change the key signature. Voila, you have the relative minor. If you find this uh, information useful or helpful, the studio is open. I teach uh, music through doing. So uh, you might write something in a minor key and then we um, talk about why it works. Theory is just the language of music and I don't like to let the, the, uh, your proficiency in the language or lack of proficiency in the language uh, stop you from creating because you can go and create tons of music um, by following simple rules without having to actually be able to articulate what you're doing. But um, through my course, you learn both. Um, so if you want to just come and create something, because what I will help you do is uh, start from scratch and, and we will produce a uh, analog or a digital piece together over time. Um, probably it covers about um, maybe your first two years of what you would learn in a uh, university music course. Uh, so we learn, so you learn the um, composition, you learn the theory, you learn the production, you learn the useful parts of production. And um, yeah, so if you want to get into music production, starting from scratch, let me know. Um, the link is in the description. Have a great day.